Snow Hill Street is the third building up from Charter Street. 
Um, and as you can see from those photos, the addition is not going to, by no means, it's higher than the existing buildings on its left or its right. By no means is it going to block any sunlight, any airflow, any views. Um, and there's just nothing on the side of either side or behind it. Behind, directly behind it is the funeral home. What's so, the design? Well, is that what it's going to look like? No, that, 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 that photo is basically just to show you the mass like of it. how it's going to look. That's approximately the 246, I believe, square feet that is proposed. But uh, design has not been worked out. The inspiration came from 93 Charter Street, which is um, it's the Ed Gates property. So when they did the existing living space, this is not a bedroom. This is just for living space. And uh, Mr. Ferrer hired the same architect to propose some plans for this particular location. Um, so the inspiration came from 93 Charter Street. Um, Ultimately, you know, a couple of the questions that came before what the, the VLC, before the Resident Association, is what's this going to be used for? Um, Jim has four children. His oldest ch uh, child is 22 years old. Ultimately, he'd like to see his oldest child, once he gets uh, situated work-wise, to move into the establishment. Um, at some point, you move in. However, but I don't want to mislead you, this is going to be rented. This is going to be rented uh, to uh, a rental union until his son is ready to move in there once financially able to do so. Um, the question is... What do you mean it's going to be rented? So it's two... two one two, unit. Two, two units, con condos. Right. The first floor is owned by somebody else. Uh, um, second unit is owned by. So you, you don't own or occupy this right now. No, no, it's just completely gutted. I believe. So the fact point. that he has four kids and trying to expand really is irrelevant. It, it's not right. It's not for his family. Um, the expansion is just for living space per. That was the little. Living, right. And that's right. This place is going to be rented out as a two-bedroom apartment. Two bedroom apartments expanding the living space on on the top floor. So he owns only the top. Floor. Just owns the top. It's really be the top three, the top two <coughs> plus the, the roof. This, this gotcha. Gotcha. So, um, so this is going to be a roof the, deck? The, uh, no roof deck is proposed. There, there will be open space. It's not a roof deck as you see in the traditional roof decks, as you can see in these pictures that the apartments do have, which is really a nice square, 100 square feet, 200 square feet, a square wooden railing. No, th this is, there's going to be railing, but this is just going to be. But there'll be outdoor space? There'll be outdoor space, yes, as a pattern. Right. Now, what are the concerns with renting it out? People are concerned with students. We have a lot of problems in the neighborhood. In regards to in the condo dock, he is not allowed to rent it out to any students, whether they're college students or grad students. He is not allowed to rent it out to more than two individuals. Um, and he's not allowed to rent it out to more than one family. What, so, what if someone says they're not a student, but they are a student? I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, how do you tell? You do background, I'm sure, with, with any landlord who, who's know, renting out their staff. I mean, we have, I mean, I'm a property owner, <coughs> we do have actually business people that are not students there, business people. Right. And they join in actually with a group decks and they bring in the platform and say, party up there. They're going to go outside and they're going to use it as a group Well, I mean, like I said, there is open. There is open space, so there's no denying that. And the open space is, is 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 almost like a patio, like my old apartment, my father's old place. Like, where the deck is out front, or is it on top? No, it's on top. It's not going to extend out over to the sidewalk. If that's your, if that's your question, it's not extending over the sidewalk. <coughs> um, so let's say the roof is approximately 450 square feet, and this is taking up 245 square feet. You're going to have approximately what the proposal is. I mean, you probably have approximately three feet from the front of this um, addition, and then three feet maybe along this, three to four feet along the side, so in that area. So it's not a traditional, there's no traditional roof decks as we see throughout the neighborhood, but there will be open space. Do you have anything, do you know what it's going to look like? Or, I mean, this just doesn't, I mean, I know this isn't what it's going to look like, but. You said this is just showing mass. That, that's just showing because it was concerned really what, how much roof it's going to take up. So that was. But how do we know what it's so, going? In other words, I'm, I'm just, I just want to know what things look like. That's all. Right, and I understand. Yeah, it, in terms of DT, right, and, and that's not what it's going to look like. So we wanted to just show the mass of how much roof it's going to mm -hmm. take up. Because one of the concerns were roof deck. We wanted to show 
how much it's going to take up on the roof. Um, and I know everything goes to the DRA. And it goes to the DRA from time to And it's, this was likely to go to the parks, too, for their parks review, because it may be within 100 feet of a park. Uh, I don't know if cemetery is considered a park, but maybe Poplar Park, but it has to be measured. And if it does, parks and DRA will both have to say as to the color. Oh, is it? I don't know. And it's maintained by the box department. That's all. We, we want to have as much glass. Is it currently occupied? No. What is proposed? Right. It's, 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 it's not, it, it's not um, like I said, that's not the design of it, but we wanted to show people when how much of the CBA? In May. May 21. May 21st? The plans for that was filed before the ZBA. All we have to show is is really elevation for the ZBA. You don't have the yeah. What's the drawing that's right here? Shows the elevation, but it doesn't show exactly. So it doesn't show the design. It's the design of, of the of the addition. Uh, What's the date again? I'm sorry. May 21. So then you have to move time review afterwards. You, you you have to you have to go to DRA design review, and we're likely to go before the parks for our design review. If it's determined that it's within 100 feet of the park. If it's not, you don't have to go. Um, so it's, it's not currently occupied. At all. It's not probably not. No, no, it's right, complete. And so, what does it mean to go up? Well, you've got an existing head up there, and an open spot roof area. So, my intent is to take it to one side of that space and make it a four season room as opposed to a deck that you would use for two seasons. So, it'll be enclosed. Preferably black and glass. I mean, when you stand on the roof at Snow Hill and look at 93 Charter, very tastefully done. A little bit of copper there, a lot of glass. And, you know, that's kind of what kind of struck me is you know, take advantage of that space for more uh, more time during the year, as opposed to having an open deck that you can use. And I, and I don't feel real comfortable with an open deck at that height either. I mean, I don't want that to be a party location by any means. I, I appreciate that, but you're comparing yourself to 93 Charter Street, and that's a owner-occupied unit. This is most definitely a rental unit, and we've had significant problems with partying and, and people renting out group decks. Regardless of whether the students are not, I think that the young adults are, are more troublesome than, than some of the students are. And that, that's a problem. The fact that we don't even know what it's going to look like or if you want us to vote on something that looks like a big black box facing a very historical, significant site in our neighborhood is, is troublesome. Well, we met with the waterfront neighborhood group and they had asked us to put a mass. Um, I, I understand your, uh, your question, is, but it wasn't for ZBA purposes to file the plans. We think the, the elevations are filed. Um, we're asked to put together some type of mass, how much roof are we going to take up, if the concern was really the roof, if there was a roof deck, if it was not in height. Um, so we had the architect just kind of draw really something that encompasses roughly 200 and some square feet, which, which this roof deck, which this addition will will occupy. Um, I mean, certainly it's going to be done tastefully. This is. Uh, Two family dwelling. The owner of Unit One uh, lives there. There's been extensive conversations with that particular owner as to, you know, what's going to be there, what's it going to look like. Uh, we have had conversations with uh, about others. So, um, and yeah, I don't mean to get apples and oranges, but work, you know, I work up city hall, so everyone knows, and I'm in the zone of the fields quite often, and you know. Monuments where or the training green in Charlestown in particular, I mean, I would compare um, I would compare the location of this particular project to, you know, Dorchester Heights and Southie. And, you know, it's I think people look at it um, or they look into it a little more than they would at any other place, only because of the historical significance of cops. So that that's why I'm asking um, if there is something if I'm here 
more detail. <coughs> and, and I understand what you're doing, and don't even you're, you're not the first one to ask for an addition. I, I lived in an addition. Bill and I grew up and had an addition, two levels, and sort of then roof deck, porch, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, but it's cop sale, it's, 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 you know, that's why we're asking these, these detailed questions. I have another question. You said that this is a, 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 a duplex, or he owns the top two, and he's adding on to that now. Correct. So, there's two rough so it'll be three, it'll be three, three, three levels for this particular unit. Right this now, the two levels. Second, levers. third, and now this will be a fourth right. floor. So, so there's going to be two units in the building. Two units in the building is really downsizing from what was there before, I believe. Um, so the second and third floor? Can one I unit. Get it's one, one unit. One unit, the second, third, and the basement. Um, one unit. So really downsizing. The first, first, second, and basement is one unit. Okay. Really downsizing. Third, four. Uh, two, in terms of square footage, what you have is roughly 400 in. Um, who lives in the property now? Just Okay. Yeah. And how long have you owned this unit? Uh, bought it in December. Okay. So, so, what, so what's the height of, of the property now and what is the proposed height? It's, it's not changed. It's 52 acres. The head house takes it to 52. It's not going to exceed that. Not exceeding the current uh, height of the head house. As you can see from, it's not in what we all see with additions. Uh, you know, people have concerns with sunlight, airflow, and views, and in this particular location, um, absolutely not affecting either. Do you feel better now that you said that Maria was on the first floor? She still lives there, right? Because yeah, she would never let parties up on that roof. And then, <laughs> right, and that, was the, and that was the intent of the restrictions within the condo docks as to no, no students, including grad, um, no more than two people, it's a two bedroom, no more than two people, and in all one family. So. Does, does anyone anyone in the audience have a question? Does anyone have a, uh, any abutters here to state your name and address? <coughs> yeah, Victor Bryan, a couple of, uh, Atlantic Avenue, a couple of quick questions about the roof. Now, uh, number one, is there any, how, any way to get out of this enlarged head house onto the roof? That is, a door, uh, sliding glass oh, or operating windows. If there will be access to with a door or whatever to, to get out to the roof area, absolutely. What, what's going to be there, either a slider or a door, it's going to be a window from out. Uh, second question, then, is uh, after this, will you be able to build a roof deck as of right? No, I mean, you could build roof decks as of right. Um, if you have to comply with the zoning. Um, can't imagine because if you put a hatch up there, which has to be at least 36 inches, three feet, you're going to be over, you know, over the 55 foot height. The plan is not to do that, but you'll never be allowed. I mean, you can't build. But if you get, well, I don't want to. No, you get out. Uh, you don't need to. Oh, so you're saying hatch. get out, walk upstairs from the outside, and get on the deck. And get on the deck. I mean, that's really not the intention. We got it on top of the head house. We have no intention of doing that. Oh, not on top of the head house. Oh, that's what I thought you said. No, no, no. Any other questions? I'm sorry, but I, I misunderstood your question. You mean just getting out? It's be the exclusive use of unit number two, not unit number one. You're gonna have a bathroom if you wish upstairs. The unit is set back in by three feet, and there's going to be a veranda on the right, outside. Yeah. Three people, you know, let's have wood sliding windows and a veranda on the outside, I'm assuming. Will they have railings? Yeah. The proposal is 42 inch railings along the roof's edge, so you will have access to, to the roof. Does anyone have any other questions? Because I have a couple more things on the agenda, there's only 45 minutes left. So it's not going to take a motion on the Dave. Dave, Dave Kubiak, we've replaced just a thought. The, the word speculation comes to speculate comes to mind, where someone buys a building wanting at the time they purchase the building to go up. We see this all the time with big developers. They buy a piece of property and then they want to double the height of it or double the size of it. Of course, this isn't like that, but I still think of this as potentially speculation. There will more purchasers of properties in the North End purchase them with the idea of going up to 55 feet. 
mean, just just in closing, I mean, I, I look at it and we've gone, gone we all gone down Charter Street and you can see this roof uh, clear as day. What's there is really a dilapidated looking black head house. This is to beautify this particular property, um, beautify that view as you come down. Just like 93 Charter Street, David, I understand that is specifically owner occupied with it's a beautiful living space with a roof deck garden. But as you come over to Charter Street and past Slide Park, you see 93 Charter Street and that addition is beautiful. This is the inspiration that you. 93 Charter Street. Yeah, that's right. Sure. Could you have two bedrooms there right now? Correct. And you're going to add additional living space to the unit to this space. Correct. How many square feet we're talking about? Under 1,200, so 11. No, no. 11. How many square feet you're adding? Oh, um, so you're adding approximately 190, so it's 56 so now. Got family family room, room. Exactly. So you got a, got a family with, uh, yeah. you know, you have to keep in mind too that the neighborhood is changing, yeah. you know, we hope, you know, uh, uh, bigger apartments, you know, some some other family might be able to stay here, you know what I mean? If you keep it in my apartment with a family room, doesn't sound like a bad thing, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, unfortunately, we're at the mercy of who the hell moves into this property, you know, but uh, that's something we're at the mercy of anyone in control who does, does anyone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion. For support. There's a I'll motion. motion to support the uh, change of the head house uh, at uh, the address 57 North Hill uh, on the street in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, to uh, add an additional 194 square feet of living space. Um, to my understanding, uh, balcony at the front and back of the property, front balcony approximately three feet, and the back balcony approximately 8.4. So there's, 20 a motion, there's a motion to support. The judge, does anyone second the motion? Second. Motion second. All in favor? One, two, four, five, six. six. All in opposition? Two. So six to two in favor of uh, 57 Stonehill Street to expand the existing rooftop headhouse from 50, 56 square feet to 245 square feet, right? Members of the board, Mr. President, thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you.